All right, guys, this is the Anime Awards 2023 or 2024, which is for the anime for 2023 from Crunchyroll. And we're going to be voting on it this video. Now, we're doing some limit testing here. We're testing the bounds of how uh, low quality we can do. Uh, so, yeah, let's continue. Oh, wait. Yeah, so it starts off with an anime of the year. Normally, you do this at the end for like retention and, you know, build up hype. But you already know what it is. Check the name. Check the name. We got Bochi the Rock right here. Is this even a quest? Oh, wait. I already voted. Yeah, see, this is the thing. I already voted before I, I started recording. I already voted for Bochi. You know what I mean? Like, oh, shoot. Like, need I say more? The contestants are Oshi no Ko, Great. Chainsaw Man. Eh. Demon Slayer. Uh, what is he doing in here? Jujutsu Kaisen, Valid, Vinland Saga, it's, I wouldn't be surprised if Vinland wins, honestly. You know, Boji the Rock, it's going to be the one with the most, like, staying power, I feel like. But I think the one that's going to win is probably going to be Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah, Vinland Saga is definitely solid. I don't know what Chainsaw Man and Demon Slayer are doing here, though. Normally, you do that stuff at the end, you know, but we're just going to go backwards now from now on, because, like, I just had to get that out of the way. I was already wearing a Bochi shirt, so you already knew how it was going to go. <laughs> Voice actors perform... Voice artist performance English. Yeah, you know, I don't watch English. I only watch in Japanese, but if I had to pick one of these, I only know Johnny Young Bosch, you know, how you'd be talking like Bankai and whatnot. Uh, so Japanese, uh, we got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have six picks each time. Yuki Kaiji, I would normally put Attack on Titan, like Yuki Kaiji here for Aaron Yeager. The last season, I feel like most of the performances were done by like Armin. Yeah, I think Armin had the best one there. But Yoshino Aoyama from Bochi the Rock, Gochi. Gochi, Goto, Goto-san. There, there's literally, it's literally the only choice, you know? Bochi the Rock, she's making all her weird, like, <laughs> noises. And yeah, her her range, it's objectively the best. It's just, yeah, yeah, sorry. It's it's not even a contest, honestly. If you're just talking about, like, the range and the variety of sounds and the, the, the noises coming out of that woman's throat, yeah, it's Bochi. Yeah, how are we doing on this time joint? Oh man. Okay, wait, I actually had to go back and say something. Tomo-chan. Yeah, Tomo-chan, um, I want to say that voice actor for Carol, the yellow hair girl, she was the English and the Japanese voice actor. So that's definitely something. Look, and I'm not even gonna lie, like Anya, she's pretty good. She's like, Anya. And then like, okay, Mayumi Tanaka. Uh, okay, I don't really watch One Piece, but she's, she's, she's pretty goaded. Um, Gojo, Yoaimo, is that what he says? Yeah, whatever. All right, ending sequence. Akari. Color, happiness of the dead. Best ending sequence. You know, that's called ED. You know what the best ED actually is? The best ED was Mushoku Tensei. Wait, why am I doing this? Like I'm pointing to like, there's no Rudy here. All right, Mushoku Tensei. He was the best ED. Yo, Chainsaw Man got too many, oh, oh, too many endings. I don't even remember any of them. Like, okay, I remember like some of them. I remember the power one. I remember the power one. That's about it. It's gotta be for Mephisto, mostly because I remember these Japanese memes and they'd be like um like a conveyor belt and then like a like a watermelon and then at the end of the conveyor belt was like a dude and like his his legs were like open like this and then like you know his uh his uh balls were there and then the, the watermelon would drop on his balls and they'd be like dun, 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 and they'd start playing the music. So I'm gonna have to put Mephisto just because of Queen Bee is pretty legit, honestly. Oh, but I do want to say there are a lot of endings that are not, um, yeah, it's a shame they only have six categories. I'm including animation in this as well, by the way. Yeah, if I had to put one, I'd put Gundam Witch from Mercury. The animation and the, the song for that one, the way they played it too at the end of, yeah, that one was like sad. Best opening sequence, Heavenly Delusion, Oshinoko, Chainsaw Man, Zom 100, Jujutsu Kaisen. Hell, it's Paradise. Work? All right, it's probably uh, Aono Sumika or whatever, where our blue is, because, oh, no, actually, I like this one. I like this one. Oh, yeah, this got Weylin Zhang. Oh, yeah, yeah, this one's loud. All right, so best score, we got Oshinoko, Bochi the Rock, Attack on Titan, Chain Summon, Suzume, Demon Slayer, yeah, um, I'm not counting the ones that have like songs in them like Oshinoko and Bochi the Raw because then that would just not be fair. Attack on Titan Final Chapter Season 1. I forgot what was in it. Was this the one where the, was it called The Rumbling? No, no, not The Rumbling. The one when The Rumbling happened and it it had that song. I forgot what was in Season 1. I forgot. I for, special one. Is that just the one where they beat up that kid in the alley? Yeah, I don't remember any of the songs from that. I'm not gonna lie. Chainsaw Man. Okay, here's the thing. Chainsaw Man OST is amazing. But 
they didn't use it in a way in the show. Like if you go to Spotify and look at it, you'll be like, what? They had like 50 tracks. But I go back and I remember and I'm like, what? They even had one track? Like I didn't even remember a single track in there except the one in the trailer. I didn't watch the movies. So I'm about to say Bochi the Rock, honestly. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, uh, I think they got those like elevator music type thing. Like, do 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 Like those, um, when it has like a funny moment. Yeah, kind of a weird pick, but I kind of like those type of uh, weird songs. All right, now we got the best anime song, Idol, Kickback, Seishun Complex, Suzume, Work, Where Are, wait, did I already do this? All right, well, it's just gonna be Bochi. Oops. What the heck is this UI? And my explanation for Bochi is just cause um it's my favorite and uh, the second one would probably be Where Our Blue Is. Idol would be, actually Idol would be up there. But the thing is, I actually like the start, start dash or whatever that song is that in Idol. I mean, in Oshinoko. All right, must protect at all cost character. Okay, we got Anya, Bochi, Bochi, Midi, Pochita, Soleta. All right, so we already know Anya, she's got powers. Um, She doesn't need protecting. Okay, may maybe. Boji, dude, dude's goaded with the fencing. So I think he's he's good. Bochi, that's debatable. Midi, Pochita, Pochita. Pochita doesn't need protecting at all. I mean, he, he had one, one time of protection from Denji, feeding that blood, and that's about it. Soleta, I know people like Saleta, but she, people need to be protected from Saleta, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, uh, it's probably Midi, because in the show herself, she is literally revolving around protecting her. Her, her, her two daddies are protecting her. Best supporting character, Hanj, uh, Reagan, I don't even, okay, you can already see it. I want to say Ghetto, Ghetto, because like, he has long hair like me, and also, um, he made Jujutsu Kaisen, like, pretty good like for that first arc that was the best arc of Jujutsu Kaisen in my opinion it, and it kind of see this is why I didn't vote it for the best anime of the year because the second arc like Shibuya arc uh it didn't live up to the hype for me honestly like I didn't feel anything when people died um but he, what I did feel was when Ghetto killed people I felt more things when he killed people like when he was calling them a monkey like he was like you goddamn monkeys and then like he uh you know just killing a bunch of people it just really makes you feel something in like a really like sub like looking down on you as like a subhuman species yeah that that's that's gonna make you feel something you know people getting killed another way and like wait what the heck what is gojo even doing here gojo is literally this mf is literally on the cover he's literally on the front of the cover like he's like one of the first ones how is this this is a what is it supporting character i mean maybe he's a supporting character from my anime list or something but like for real though, nah, it's ghetto. Ooh, but Kana, Arima. I like those, uh, she's pretty funny. Yeah, whatever. That's the main character, Eren Yeager. Uh, normally I would put Eren Yeager in any other season, but uh, not this one. I'd also say Thorfinn, but Bochi is just gonna, everyone loves Bochi. She had, for 12 episodes, you can see that character development, the progression of her from just making YouTube videos at her home to uh, to just playing at the the Bunkosai or whatever they're called, the, the school festival. Yeah, Bochi definitely deserves that one. And in general, she's a lovable character and it's funny. Pe people like funny characters. It, she doesn't even have to be relatable. You might think she's relatable, but I don't think she's that relatable to be honest. Best slice of life. Oh, what is this? Bochi the Rock again? Oh, do it yourself. It was really good. I think as like a pure slice of life um, with less stakes involved, do it yourself is good. Insomniacs after school, I'm thinking that's more of like a romance. Uh, Skip and Loafer as well, but Skip and Loafer is really good. Uh, I guess slice of life. Um, Yamada Kun 999? No, no way. That wasn't... Wait, there could be like a hundred more anime other than like, I don't know why they picked these six. Their picks are kind of trash. Best drama, Oshinoko, My Happy Marriage, Good Romance. It peaked towards the beginning, it started waning off for me, but like, it was still pretty good. Two Year Eternity Season 2, Season 1 was better, uh, but it was still really good. It was solid. Finland Saga, that's probably the one. Um, in terms of drama, Heavenly Delusion, I really like how they do it. There's like two um, intertwining plot points at the same time. 
that's kind of like mystery and like you know supernatural stuff um i'm gonna give it to vinland though oshinoko like they're all kind of good best fantasy yo musho yo mushoku tensei you know the one with the best ed that one wait was there even a best ed wait a second let me go back best ed best ending sequence you know that's called ed you know what the best ed actually is the best ed was mushoku tense wait why am i doing this like i'm pointing to like there's no rudy here all right mushoku tensei he was the best ed yeah but speaking of which Muso mushoku tensei it's it's beating these best action chainsaw man Ju jujutsu kaisen as an action animation jujutsu kaisen beats these other ones in my opinion even despite MAPPA's um, bad production schedule, they pulled off something that people would dream of. Best comedy, Bochi the Rock. Okay, Buddy Daddies is funny. Spy Family and Buddy Daddies have like a similar type of comedy with like a little kid running around causing trouble. Uh, Zom 100 is funny, but it's not really, I feel like as a comedy anime, Bochi the Rock clears these other ones. Romance, Insomniacs, Love Story, Tomo-chan, Skip and Loafer, Happy Marriage. So it would be Happy Marriage, but I felt like it waned off to that. Insomniacs is up there probably. I think I'm gonna have to choose Insomniacs for this one. Um, Tomo-chan is also pretty... I like Tomo-chan, but it's like... It's kind of like more rom com -y. Like, just for the... If I just want to say the romance aspects, probably my Happy Marriage. But the one I really think is actually um, Boku Yaba or whatever. Dangers in My Heart. Because... I actually got hip to that recently, Dangers in My Heart, and I did not know about this until, like, once I saw the the new OP where they're doing, like, the dance and all that at the school auditorium, I was like, oh, okay, I gotta watch this, and, like, that one would be, that would be up here for me, honestly, but I'm gonna give it to Insomniacs after school, because I actually watched the live action of this, which means a lot, because I hate live action uh best art direction in terms of art direction i'm looking at the overall aesthetics oshinoko really bright and colorful i like the um, overall character designs and whatnot chainsaw man ooh, i think overall the direction is not that good let alone the art direction but the art direction if you were to average every color of every frame it'd be something like gray and brown so it's just not aesthetically pleasing to me the one with the most aesthetically pleasing like if i just took a frame would be zom 100 because of, I mean, just look at it. Literally, just, just look at it. Yeah, you, you got like all sorts of like saturation, contrast, and whatnot there. Okay. Cinematography. Ooh. Attack on Titan, Chainsaw Man, Demon Slayer, Heavenly Delusion, Vinland, Jujutsu Kaisen. So I know people are going to be like Chainsaw Man because, you know, they're like, ooh, it's cinema, it's Kino. But really, Chainsaw Man... It's not really, it doesn't really mean anything. They just put like a frame and then it's like slowly zooming out or slowly zooming in just to like take more screen time or they put the camera at the bottom and they're just walking with their feet. And it doesn't really mean anything. Like a lot of the, a lot of it is cool, but it doesn't really mean anything to me. So I wouldn't pick that one. It would be Vinland Saga. Okay, I'm, I also just recently um, rewatched Vinland Saga. So that has heavy recency bias for me because this season is kind of bad. So I've just been rewatching anyway. But I would say JJK is also pretty up there. Attack on Titan, I don't remember exactly what happened to Special 1. But Special 2, I think, would be up there. I, like, I really liked Special 2 when they were like showing that baby being passed out, that scene. Best Director, Keichiro Saito, Bochi the Rock. That's where my mind went to right away. I mean, if you're watching Free Ren right now and you like that show, same director. All right, so best character design. Uh, I want to put JJK because in terms of the designs for the show, they simplified it. Like they, they changed them from season one in a way that the action animation can be more fluid and like have more creative in, creativity in it. And I think it worked out well, are like perfect for JJK. Best animation. Ooh, the one I would pick is not on here. Like, I might have to make a video. I like, I actually need to make a video for that one. The one I would pick. I mean, it would be Mob Psycho for sure. But JJK. Nah, I'm just gonna pick Mob Psycho. JJK has too much recency bias. Best original anime, Birdie Wing. Akiba, Buddy Daddy's Do It Yourself. Mobile Suit. Marginal Service. I haven't watched Marginal Service. Uh, Birdie Wing. Birdie Wing was really good for a surprising original anime about sports that you don't care about, such as golf, with a Yuri aspect to it. Uh, and I'm always going to remember that OP is like, Venus line, Venus line. And oh, yeah. So it was really fun for what it was. Akiba Made War. I think that might have to be it. 
Okay, it would actually be Mobile Suit Gundam, which from Mercury, but I don't feel, it doesn't feel fair because that one, it's like continuing and also like, it's like, like a giant franchise and like, I'm just, I'm sure they had like a bigger budget putting into Gundam than any of these shows. Like, it's like a well-established thing, you know what I mean? It's, it doesn't feel fair, you know? I'm about to give it to Akiba Made War. But which from Mercury is probably better than all of them. Best film. I don't really watch films. I watched a tunnel to summer film, but it's not on here. So I'm not going to vote for any of these. Best new series. Heavenly Delusion. Uh, oh, they got Bochi. That's pretty much where it goes. If I see Bochi, I vote for Bochi. Most of the times. I might have not have done that. Maybe I forgot if I... All of that. Best continuing series. Ooh, it's Vinland. It would be JJK, but I didn't like the Shibuya that much. Vinland maintains a very good consistency throughout. Oh, Vinland. So when I recently rewatched this, man, like when they, when he met his mom again. Okay. I mean, when he met his, uh, I got to unspoilerize this. When he met that woman again and like she recognized him, I was like blinking like hardcore because I, I was like trying to hold back the tears. I was like, hold him back, hold him back. But like... Ooh, I should have just let them out because, yeah, that was, it was a good show. Anime of the Year, Oshinoko, Bochi the Rock, Chainsaw Man, Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen, Vinland. Wait, I already voted. Oh, we're all the, all the way back at the beginning. You know what, since I'm back here, I'm just going to give some explanations. Oshinoko, you know, this would be good, but like, I feel like after the first couple episodes and then after like, apart from the Ak Akane episode, most of the other episodes just feel like standard idol anime to me, which I'm pretty much used to already. Um, other people might not be used to it, so they might, they might think it's like, ooh, it's so different. But it's really celebrating idols. It's not really, like, it's not really as dark as it, it would seem. So, yeah, Bochi the Rock, fresh. Honestly, I was thinking it was going to be Bochi the Rock as soon as, like, episode one when they was, like, the, the show almost ended and then they had, like, the fake credits started rolling. Yeah, I was like, okay, this is going to be the GOAT. My personal anime of the year isn't actually on here. Oh, why did I click on this, dude? I, I'm Demon Slayer. No, 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 no. Uh, yep, that's...